What's up my dudes, in this video I want to show you how I replaced my Begoat T-Force headlight with this third party headlight. You can do the same modification on your Master or Master Pro V1. And in the first part of this video I want to show you how I replaced the headlight and then in the second part I want to show you the difference between the original and the upgraded headlight. And I can spoiler already, I'm kind of happy with my new headlight, not 100% but definitely happier than with the light before. You'll see later why. And yeah, let's just start. So just to begin with, this comes with the light, but I won't use any of it because I used the Grizzler fairing to install this light. If you don't have the Grizzler fairing, this video might not be as helpful, at least not the installation process, because I just used it. And how you can see, the light is not completely flat on the bottom, so I used some double-sided tape to yeah, fix this and to make it kind of even later for the Velcro. Then I took off the speedometer, like the first um, yeah, green thing you see here. You can just take it off with these four screws uh, on the sides and you can see it's, I don't know, it's kind of not perfectly done, I would say, in the bottom. But uh, my speedometer works obviously completely fine, but just something I realized by taking off this thing. And after plugging out this one cable you see here on the left, um, you can just take it off and um, underneath you will see this um, yeah, thing and you will need to cut the white zip tie and then the beeper cable which I marked in red and the light cable which is has a yellow plug and you can see here the two cables of the beeper and the light on the left go through this silicon sealing something rubber thing and um, yeah you need to kind of poke it out there and the beeper is glued to the headlight which is a solution for Bigot for sure but um, if you want to replace the light it's definitely not the best so I figured out something else and by the way this beeper just looks really crappy and I would really really like if Bigot would have some proper beepers like in motion where there's actually like a tone coming and not just a beep but um, yeah, that's how it is. It weighs 12.4 grams. It's super light, which is kind of nice, but also shows you the cheap quality it has. Here I measured the distance for the Valkyrie I want to install later. And also you can see on the left side, I marked it with these O's. Um, this metal is in the way. So in the next picture you see there's a cable and I think it's the motor cables which go there. So I didn't want to damage them at all. So. I needed to work around that and what I did was I used a Dremel to begin with but that kind of took ages. I took the flex to get rid of this metal in this area and I finished it by just grading it a little so you can't hurt yourself or something and it's just smooth and flat. Even you don't see this I just wanted to have it proper done and I'm really sorry for this bad camera position but I yeah just sprayed it black so I think you know what I did. Here you can see the distance for the Valkyrie again so I just cut some Valkyrie a good centimeter and I just used some alcohol to clean up the Grizzler bumper before sticking on my Valkyrie to it. I heated it up a little just to make sure it will be really really sticky. After installing the Valkyrie on my front bumper I also installed some Valkyrie on the beeper because that's how I needed to fix it and you can see it's just staying on the front bumper it's i don't know it does its job it beeps again so everything is cool i cut off the original plug of the light to put it on my new light and here you can see how i soldered the red to the red and the black to the black nothing special don't forget your heat shrinks to make everything safe yeah and then before putting everything back together you just plug it in you put your silicone rubber sealing thing through the plugs again and thankfully I had a second hand of my flatmate so he helped me to put in the board again because with uh, just two hands it's yeah, kind of tricky. It's probably possible but I cannot recommend it. And that was it already with installing the new headlight. Um, I think it looks 
not as nice as the original one at least that's my opinion but let's head over to how it works how it looks and you can see the original one it's kind of pointy like it actually has some distance but not to the left and not to the right at all just to the front and even not that much to the front i should have adjusted the light a little bit to give it another chance um yeah how you can see the new light is way 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 wider but how you can see it was like just shining three meters in front of the wheel and that was really annoying so what i did is i used some velcro on the top and i put it under the seat and on top of the light and I could adjust the angle with it a little bit and get it a little higher. So here you can see a second try and I think it's better. And the faster you go the brighter the lights get or at least in the beginning of acceleration so when you turn on the wheel and the light isn't really bright well that's because your wheel is not going anywhere right now but as soon the tire starts moving the wheel lightens up. And here you see another example of where the light goes that's why I used this blinky mode just to show you where it goes. I usually don't use this yeah, flashing mode. And the only thing I really don't enjoy about this light is accelerating and braking. This wheel just really moves up and down a lot but I mean that's my wheel and not the light and there you can see perfectly what's happening when you brake and accelerate. The light goes really high and then it goes really low. And um, this is my Bigot M104 light which is actually quite nice. Like I would not think about replacing it right now it does its job quite well i would say you can see all the bumps and everything in the night and yeah that's it already so i hope this video could help you to decide if you want to replace your bigot m104 light with another light maybe even another light and not the one i have or if you want to stick to the old one and see you in the next video